for inviting me today. Um, my name is Erica Jennings, and I've been a music artist for the past 25 years. A writer, performer, and when I think about it, the main reason that I've been able to have a career in music, a successful career, for such a long time, is down to what I want to talk to you about today, which is a story of grit. Do you know what grit is? What it means? No? Well, basically, it's about perseverance, being able to overcome obstacles. It's about strength of character, resolve, things like that. So, when I started out, we were very young. <laughs> I was 18, and the boys were 20. And um, that's when we had our first hit. And so, we had our first hit song, Summertime, and everyone thought we were an overnight success. But I have to tell you that there is no such thing as overnight success. What well, a lot of people didn't know was the two years prior to that, from when I was about 16. And it was literally two years of non-stop slogging and work. So, we, I, I thought that the best way to share with you about grit was to give you some personal, share some personal experiences. So the first one, is our first music video. Because we wanted to make a video, obviously, for our first song. And we were completely unknown, and so we had a dilemma. And we had to get around it. So how do you make a music video when you have zero budget? So basically, we got our friends, our school friends, to be in the video. And we, I borrowed my mom's camera, because keep in mind in those days, you know, it was just like handheld camera. And um, we borrowed a car so that the guys could drive back and forth to Germany because they had a friend in Germany who worked in a video production company. So we managed to convince him after work hours to edit our music video, basically through the night. So we filmed the clip with our friends. The boys got in the car, drove to Germany, edited the video overnight, drove back, and voila, we overcame the obstacle with grit. <laughs> oh, and here's the... Fun fact, the guys um, fighting in the video, the one doing the beating up is now in the special forces and the one getting beat up is <laughs> a very famous classical composer, Jonas Hirkonos. So our second dilemma, we had a music video, but how do we get it on TV? Well, at the time, TV programs, music programs, loved merchandise. They loved merchandise because they liked to do competitions. And basically, <laughs> ah, that was some of our merchandise. Yeah, so we thought about how, how can we get this music video on TV? And basically we decided, okay, we need to think of something that they're going to want to do competitions with. So we did, so we went, pulled our money together, made some merchandise, and we called up the programs and we said, uh, can we get, you know, on your show, and uh, they said, yeah, why not? Because they wanted free merchandise. So we managed to get, as an unknown band with no label backing, onto the show. We gave them the merchandise, they did the competition, and we got an interview. Another personal experience. <laughs> yeah, this is another video. Do any of you know the singer? The male singer? I'm sorry? Yes. Yes, Anders Mamadolos, you're right. So the guys in my group really loved Anders Mamadolos. They really wanted to work with him. And he decided to work with us only based on the fact that he had seen our very first clip, the one we had filmed with zero budget. And he knew, because he saw that we did the work ourselves, that we had grit, that we had authenticity, that we were in it for the long haul. 
So there's us, looking happy. The final example. When we became known and uh, famous and all that, uh, at the time, playing live was not the norm. At the time, everybody would just lip sync. You know, they would come to a show, they would put in a CD and just mime along. And we decided that we did not want to uh, do that at all, so we made a strong stand of only playing live. And we took a lot of crap for that, because every time we showed up at an event, it was like, oh no, not these guys again. But we did anyway, we stuck to our guns, and we wanted to make playing live the status quo. So, basically, what I would like to leave you with is that, because you're going to start out on your journey soon enough, um, as an artist, I can tell you, it's not about... There's so many talented artists in the world. There's so many talented songwriters and singers and performers and all of that. But it's not about how great you sing. It's not about how hot you look. It's actually to do with how much grit you have. Because that's going to be what sets you apart. That's going to give you longevity as well as success. Thank you.